हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड यूजफुल ट्रिक्स टिप्स एंड सेटिंग्स ऑफ सॉलिड वर्क्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी ऑटोमेटिक ड्राफ्टिंग एंड हाउ टू मॉडिफाई द पार्ट बाय चेंजिंग द डायमेंशन इन द शीट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो जस्ट वॉच वीडियो केयरफुली एंड नोटिस विच ऑप्शन आई मेक अनेबल्स I will draw simple L shape part Notice here this particular option must be on that is make dimensions to be imported into the drawing you supposed to place this dimension at the required position it will be appear in the sheet drawing we have to assign the dimensions the way we want it into the sketch means here you can give the total height as i assign here if you want this particular height you can assign like that so my sketch is completed now i will go into the features and extrude boss then i will select the sketch here mid plane and i will assign the thickness of part is let's say 25 now i will provide to tap over here for that i will select tap hole and i will change tap size to m12 through all here also you have to assign the dimension the way you want it in the drawing sheet make sure this particular option is must be on always if you turn it off that particular dimension will not be appear in the automatic drafting so the dimension which you want to appear in your shape drafting automatically you have to keep this option on i am assigning this dimensions such that i want this am dimension should be appear in my sheet drawing i 
I will align these two points horizontally. For that, I will select these two points by using Ctrl key. Then I will select the relation horizontal. So my sketch is fully defined. Now I will click on Exit Sketch. Now I will go into Whole Wizard again, and I will change the tab size to say M24. Let it be through all. Go into the position. Select the surface. Now I will edit this sketch also. If you want the center distance of this particular tab from the bottom of this part, you have to assign the dimension in that way. I want it from the top surface that is why I have, I have assigned these dimensions from the top line. In short, whichever dimension you are assigning while part modeling are going to appear in the automatic sheet drafting. Finally, my part is completed. Now just save this part. I will rename it as a plate now i will start with the drawing file select the sheet size Now you can see the recently developed part over here. If it is not appear over here, you can go into the browse and select the part. So double click on this. I will remove this. I want side view also. So it is finished. Now go into the annotation tab. Now model item. Here we have to select the entire model. Then import into import item into all views remove this check mark then turn on these options in the dimensions section check mark this eliminate duplicates Click here and select the view. Note this particular selection in this model item section. Now click on OK. Now result is here. Now what we have to do is select all dimension then wait 
don't click anywhere just wait now move the cursor on this option now select this that is auto array dimension click on it and just wait okay now our auto drafting is completed you have to adjust the view if required this is how our time is saved because of auto drafting now let's see the second part of this video how to modify the part by changing the dimensions in the sheet drafting now i want to change the thickness of the part from 25 mm to the 50 mm so i will just double click on this dimension and change this dimension to required dimension i want it 50 mm so i will change it to 50 mm just wait click on rebuild now you can see the thickness of the plate is get changed to 50 mm now let's check in the actual 3d part here it is go into evaluate major and check this thickness is 50 mm so this is how we can modify the part by changing the dimensions in the sheet drawing also Note that if you assign the dimension by using this smart dimension tool and if you try to modify the part it will not get changed. If you try to double click on the dimension which is assigned by smart dimension tool you will get these all options. but you can't change the dimensions so for that the dimension must be assigned by using the model item tools so let's check with the other modification i will change this 25 mm to let's say 50 mm so change it to 50 mm and just wait click on the rebuild and here the part is get modified Remember that if you have assigned the dimension by using the model item tool then and then only you can modify the part by changing the dimension in the sheet. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet in the next video with other important and useful tricks, tips and settings.